Hello, Tarotel. How are you? I would like to apologize for every time that I say that I am going to be online often. However, I am one of those rare chosen ones kept hidden many of the time. And following in obe obe being obedient to what the Most High asks of me is, is comes first than everything. So I have to take a lot of care of myself. Remember, I am you and you are me. And um, I also have to go through all processes in my journey. Um, I wanted to come out here because this is very healthy for me. And I know I am very needed out there in these crucial times. And it's imper imperative for me to speak out the way, uh, letting people know how, how I am because um, most probably you that connect with these videos are feeling the same thing. Right now we are having a lot of merging energies uh, from above, below, midheaven. All chakras are being cleansed out by Jupiter. The influence in Jupiter in this whole galaxy is intense. And keeping our faith and grounding ourselves and meditating and being so close to Yeshua right now, the Lord of Lords, the Lord of Mercy, uh, the one that gave his life for us, is imperative. It's imperative. So I'm just, uh, there's a lot of things going for us. Everything is for us. Remember, the universe is for us. The universe bears, bears no ill to us, neither we bear ill to the innocents. However, every time we go to sleep, we get lost because we're being worked on. Everything will work for our good. So please, I know we want to know what's going on. And our ego always wants to look for someone to blame, blame the negative forces, the people that are supposedly holding our collective. No, we came here to release all karmas. And we came here to heal all sentient beings, Tarotao. And I know sometimes we're like, damn, this was like, is this a curse or a blessing? I totally understand. Because... Many of the things we went through were totally uncalled for. We only gave love. We only tried to defend ourselves. The only difference between us and others is that we are aware of it. We can see the beauty in the heart of Christ in everyone. But we have to understand that not everyone has that awareness and this is why prayer is so important because we need to pray for them all the time the first card I, I picked up was a prayer because I have held on these days not by my own efforts of meditating connecting with nature I had to be vulnerable and ask for help, not for my guides, because at the end of the day, we're being guides of our own guides. We're being guides of our own ancestors. I was crying very hard uh, this last Saturday, Saturn day, Because I was being revealed about all the 
trauma people have to still go through in order to dissolve the negative karma it is life it is balance and I was just crying from the top of my heart from the bottom of my heart this bottomless heart of love that I have I was like why why God why cannot heal them all because even Christ couldn't do it what he did was a huge step for us the most important step carry all of his sins within him do you know that Christ lives in all of these addicts that you reject? Do you know Christ lives in all of the people that you are judging right now? Please reflect that of us. We need your prayers. We need the power of transmutation that you have. We now know we are rain, uh, children of the rainbow. Crystal children, indigo children, angelic beings, embodied archangels, Christ embodied, Bodhisattva, Buddhas. We have to look up to ourselves but that is why Yeshua the Christ is so important because he was the voice of our father that imperative divine masculine most high of all caretaker of all of course balanced with the creatrix mother but let's not be angry with that, with our Father. He took care of us in every way because there was a moment where our Mother, our Divine Mother, couldn't tolerate our suffering. He had to be there for her, heal her, She's recovered. However, she's also being renewed. Because she healed us, our children. She kept giving us and giving and giving and giving and giving. But now it's her time. Let's help ourselves in order to make our mother happy and to relieve the burdens of our father. This is my message.